Hey there chameleons, it's Camille and today I'm doing this quick New Year's Eve glitter makeup look for you guys. So we're starting out with some scotch tape and this is just going to sharpen your eyes so I'm pulling off two pieces and connecting it from the corner of my eye to the corner of my brow and just sticking it on my face so that any shadow that I place that goes over that will be instantly removed. Now I'm taking this white base and I'm painting on the shape of my lid using a synthetic paintbrush. I'm flaring out the edges so that the shadow will also have a flared look. Now I'm using this palette to get a medium and a darker chocolate brown and I'm starting with the medium brown and putting that in my crease with a blending brush as my transition to shade. And then I'm using a denser smaller brush to add the chocolatey brown into the crease and just to give it more of a cut and more of a defined line that's why we're using a smaller brush like this one. Now I'm blending that out so that we can have more of a seamless chocolatey crease. I'm using this lighter gold and this orangey darker gold from Makeup Geek and these are foiled shadows. I'm putting the brighter gold on the inner half of my lid and the darker golden orangier gold on the outer half just to make a very pretty ombre and just make my lids super gold for my base. This is the NYX Glitter Adhesive and I'm patting that on top of my shadows so then when I put on the glitter, which is also from NYX, then it will stick onto my lids with no problem. I'm using that same brush and just patting it all over the lids. This is how golden and glittery it looks so far. Let's keep going. Now I'm going to highlight using a matte color from the same palette just to give my brows more of a push up. Now I'm using some simple micellar water just to wipe away any fallout because you know when you're using glitter it's going to go all over your face and that's why we did eyes before face. I'm using this angled brush and this dark shadow to do my brows which is what I've been doing lately especially after since both of my favorite eyebrow pencils ran out but you know what we move on and we adapt. Now I'm using the Sigma liner and I'm just doing a black wing, very simple and I'm using that tape to guide the end of the wing to make it sharp and go along the same edges as the eyeshadow. This is the satisfying part when you get to peel that away from your face and you see a straight sliced cut. Look at that, that's so perfect. A little too perfect though so I'm blending it out using a little bit of that nude color just to make it a little bit less sharp and scary. This is a really cool primer. It's from Milk and it comes out mid-January, but it's really smooth and I've been liking using it a lot lately, so I'm putting that all over my face just so that my skin will have a very even application of makeup afterwards. I'm applying my foundation as usual, using my Beauty Blender. Now I'm using my Clinique Chubby Stick and I'm using it to de-chubby my face and contour it. And I'm using my Beauty Blender to blend that out. Now I'm going to add some powder to just set my face makeup. And some banana powder to banana size my face and highlight. And now I'm using that light gold on the inner half of the lower lash line and the darker gold on the outer half. Throwing on some dark black liner just to give definition and now I'm applying some red cherries. This is my contour shade just to add a little bit more contour after we powdered and a little bit of a natural blush color. My favorite highlighter of course is going to have to go on my cheekbones so I can glow whenever I turn my face and I do like giving that little Rudolph and that like above lip kind of highlight. This is a Makeup Forever lip liner and I'm using this Dior lipstick. Ooh girl how fancy are you? Ooh, Well it is New Year's so I'm going all out with these lips. And I'm just doing like a little bit of a pink color with some gloss thrown in the center to make my lips look even fuller and juicy. Look at that gloss. That's all you gotta do for this tutorial. It's a great look for New Year's Eve because you gotta throw on some glitter for New Year's Eve or is it really New Year's Eve? But that's it for today's tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Follow me on Instagram, which is linked down below with my vlog channel where I daily vlog and all my other social media. So thank you, Chameleon, so much for watching, and I will see you next year. Kisses. Mwah.